Good morning. It's currently 6.12 a.m. on Tuesday, June 23rd, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I cast about here and yawn. <coughs> Luna is trying to talk all fancy. I didn't really have anything interesting plans to say, though. Um, I was trying to get at before I was so rudely interrupted that uh, I don't even really know what to talk about today. Sometimes I feel like I have something really specific in mind, and sometimes I do not. I have a couple of vague ideas, but none of them felt like worthy of five minutes of full conversation. Uh, one of them is that I feel like I'm noticing a trend in the use of the word gross to describe something that you find uh, disgusting in the way of um, not like uh, something tastes bad, but something that you find uh, offensive in terms of like, like it's a despicable thing to do or a way to act to call that gross. And it occurs to me that I wonder if part of the growth of the trend of that word is just that gross is not tied to anything that is would be offensive in some other way you know what I mean like there's no one that um, it's, it's not pejorative for any um, like other trait that you might not want to implicate um, I don't know but that's about all I've got on that Luna is right under the desk. My chair is... Oh, come on, what the... F My camera is getting all weird on me. Um, today is going well. How about you guys? Um, my chair continues to be a source of frustration because while I have a couple of times now used my uh, little improvised technique to try to um, to fix where that missing piece is. I have yet to find something that will really stay in place for more than a day or so. So I think I might uh, need to do a little bit more work on that front. Oh, Luna. Today's too early. I need to do over. Luna, come on. Hey, I love you, Luna, but please don't do that while I'm recording. This, this is the offender, by the way. I don't know why I just did that. I threw it, and now I've engaged us in a game, and that was not my intention. I was trying to just have her not squeak it while I'm talking for just a second. Ugh, it's been too hot. Um, what else? What else? Um, I vaguely feel like I have more to say about Orange is the New Black, but I can't think of what it is right now. Um, I played around a little bit last night with, uh, using the Oculus Rift to play Mass Effect 3, because Mass Effect 3 is obviously not a VR game, not designed to be played that way. The implementation in this case is really pretty interesting. The Oculus is used to make it as though you're sitting in a room where an entire wall is a 3D television. And so it's designed so like, you know, you can look around and see other parts of the room, but when you're facing forward, pretty much your entire field of vision is taken up by what looks in the rift like a 3d television and it's the picture because of just the nature of the oculus rift is not as uh, sharp as it would be if you were on watching like a high quality monitor there's what's sometimes called the screen door effect which is just essentially that you know you're so close to the screen you can kind of see the separation between the pixels a little bit <sighs> but Honestly, I don't find that very objectionable. It's not like it's a minor thing considering how cool it is to feel like you have this 
giant wall-sized 3D television. And considering that's a, an aftermarket like modification to make, um, it was pretty impressive. And I had a couple of the DLC for Mass Effect 3 that I hadn't played yet, Omega and uh, Citadel. So that's been fun. Although the driver that I bought that allows me to do that um, supposedly works for some other games that I have that I haven't been able to make work yet. And so just the, the fact that it continues to be difficult to actually implement um, some of these things makes it also like, you know, advanced user <laughs> stuff. All right, well, uh, I think that's going to do for today. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes. All right, bye.